are ten things I wish I knew about the bog witch and her wares. Whether you're new to Valheim or an OG, there's something here for you. Number one. Cook at least one of everything in the game, including each meat on a cooking rack. Because if you're missing an ingredient, then you may not get the recipe for the feast that requires it from the witch. For example, if you skipped over making deer stew because you don't typically use it, then you're not going to get the recipes from the witch for all of the feasts. Number two, you're going to need to fish to get all of the witch's recipes for feasts and potions. So do some fishing along the way. Specifically, you'll need perch, which are caught offshore of the meadows and black forest, trollfish, which are caught near the black forest, and grouper, which is caught near the plains. Number three, once you place down a feast and eat a piece of the 10 servings it provides, you can't pick it back up again or you'll lose the leftovers. Number four, when you sit a potion on a shelf with a serving tray, you can drink it right from there, quick and easy for death runs or races. But if you want to pick it up off the counter without drinking it, you have to use the tray to pick it up again with the middle mouse button. So keep a tray handy, maybe a couple. Number five, after you beat each boss from the elder on, you should check back with the witch to see what new item she now has in her shop. Number six, if you attack the witch's trusty broom, be ready for a fight. It is no joke, but you'll get a cool broom trophy to hang up. The broom will respawn again in time if you want to get another one. And if you happen to build a base near the witch, it'll also be a guardian for you against local mobs. Number seven, the sailor's bounty feast is a really good early food. It has the same health and stamina values at 45 each as the hardy mountain loggers do. However, to get this recipe for the sailor's bounty, all you have to do is kill a serpent and catch a few fish in comparison to defeating the fourth boss, Motor. Plus, having some extra serpent meat around is always amazing. Number eight, the berserker mead while making you better at fighting by decreasing stamina usage by 80% for attack, block, and dodge, also makes you weak to slash, blunt, and pierce. However, if you use the bone mass power at the same time, then it cancels out these weaknesses as it makes you resistant to slash, blunt, and pierce. If you think it's helpful to have guides like this, then please leave a like to feed the algorithm and help me be able to continue making them. Thanks. Number nine. If you leave a candle burning, it will burn down to a nub over time. So if you only want it for decoration, you might want to leave it turned off, or at least most of the time. When candles burn out, you can break them with a hammer and get the wick back to build them again. Number 10. Using the platter bought at the witch means that you can place any food item down anywhere without needing a nearby workbench or item stands. This means that you can do things like laying out paths with the glowy yellow mushrooms to key locations so that your paths are easier to see at night or easily placing any effect of a food or potion out in your landscaping for special lighting effects. If get to the point guides are your cup of tea, Consider free subscribing for more Valheim. Until next time, happy gaming.